Okay, I cut me a piece of wood. It's six, six and a half inches wide and 29 inches long. And I'm gonna make a, a faux birdhouse just to set out on the front porch. And right now I'm gonna take it. I have marked my center point here and I'm gonna angle my board using my miter saw. And I'm using a 45 degree angle. Okay, I went through my wood and I found something to just make the roof with. So I'll just cut it off on one side the length I want it and then the other side. I'm not gonna miter it. I'm just gonna make one side just a thickness of this longer to go on there. And then I've got to go in I think I want to just cut out a primitive star on it. And that's going to take getting a pattern on there and then probably using my jigsaw to cut it out. And cut off a piece of the board here. It'll be, this will be my base. It's kind of hard to do this one handed. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that will be my base. So I'm now I've cut my base out and I'm going to cut my roof and then I'm going to go in and find a star and see what I can do with that. Okay, to cut out the roof, I cut this one out and I'm going to put it flush with that and to make them both come out the same distance. What I did was just put my wood right there and then brought it down and drew a line there. So that gives it the correct th thickness up there. Now I'll just draw a line there and I'll go over there and just cut that off. And that will be my roof. Okay, I have that piece cut and you can see with me putting on just that little bit of thickness to have those match that the ends match also. As you can see, I've brought it in here in the craft room and I've made a pattern for my star and put it on my board and now I'll go out to the garage and take a drill and drill a hole in here to where I can get my jigsaw. I think I'll use my jigsaw because I think it, the board's too long for my scroll saw. Anyways, I'll cut this out. Okay, I took my drill and my bit and I made a hole where I could stick the blade of my jigsaw down in there to cut that out. And I can tell you I'm way better at using a scroll saw than a jigsaw. But I couldn't my, oops, sorry to go so fast, but the, I don't think the throat on the uh, scroll saw would have been enough to maneuver the wood around, so I had to use the jigsaw. Alright, for my birdhouse itself, I'm going to do the uh, vinegar and steel wool mixture and just leave it old looking. So I'll do this real fast, set it outside because it's warm to dry. And this is just pretty wet, so it takes a little bit to dry, but I'll do that. And then the rest of it, I did cut, let me show you right fast. Instead of leaving my star open, uh, I cut this little th thin piece of wood to go under here like that. But I'm gonna paint this black. I'm gonna paint the base of it black and the roof black. And then 
somehow fix it up with a little something on it. It's not going to take a lot, but a little something. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to tell you all, I should keep my mouth shut, but I had all these painted, sealed, and ready to go. And I've lost them. I don't know where they're at. Well, I did. I did have the piece that was only uh, about that thick. I had it. I found it, but I brought them all in at the same time. But somewhere along the line, I've lost those that I had painted and sealed black, and this that I had painted sealed in black. And I was down to having to put, <coughs> getting ready to put them together, and I can't find them. So I'm starting all over on painting these, and I'm going to have to wait for them to dry and seal them. Okay, I had to take this out and put that back on there before I could put my nail and my star. I just put a star up there and an old square nail there. And I need to go now and take it out to the garage. That's a glue gun and kind of distress the bottom. This is the bottom that holds the birdhouse up and distress on the rooftop and nail them on and that will be finished unless I want to do something else to it. And probably what I'll do is just kind of set it aside and as I look at it every so often, if I think it needs something, I'll work on it. But otherwise, it's just probably going to be uh, the black and the brown distressed all right that's i'll get that put together and i'll come back and show it to you okay i took it out to the garage and distressed them some and i decided to put a coat of the special dark on them so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just putting a coat of special dark i'll let it dry for a little bit and then i'll rub them down then i'll take them out to the garage and put it all together well, I took it and I put it together and I put a little moss in there and now I have cut a little piece of wood and now I'm cutting out a sign with my cameo to put on it. Okay, I have my little sign cut out and I took the uh, antiquing wax and put it on there and I'm waiting for that to dry and when it finishes drying, I believe I'm going to use the queen bee on it and while it's all while that's drying, I'm weeding out the letters on my little sign that's going to go on there. Okay, I took the, I decided I didn't like the star above there. I had the rusty star, and I already had a star here, so I took the star off and painted the little sign and just hung it up there. And that's on my front porch. And that's how my birdhouse turned out. Okay, here's two things that my, uh, sister had at her house for me. My cousin left him there. Well, actually, she was there when I got there, my cousin. Uh, I was on my way back from my craft show, and I called my sister and passing through town, and I stopped there because she said she had some goodies for me from Leona. So, this stand it is cute. It is old, and it's rugged. <laughs> It's, well, anyways, it does have spindles, but I'm going to keep it together. I'm going to try to do that. I did tighten this here up. And the legs might need some work. And I sent a picture of it to my uh, friend, Sheila. And we've been trying to come up with things to do with it. We've been passing ideas back and forth. And then she gave me this little frame with the chicken wire in it. And there was... Something else over there. I can't... Oh, a light fixture. Yeah. That was differently... It was different. It was shaped different. But I didn't have room in my car for those, so... I did 
throw these two things in and I wanted to share them and they'll be in future videos. Okay, here's another scrap wood project and I did see this on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. So I, th I thought, well, I'll try making my version of it. But this is a two before that I cut four and a quarter inches long. And then these are little, the Jenga blocks that you buy at the Dollar Tree. I cut two of them in half and those will be the feet. And then I drew a little patch, simple pattern for the head. And then I also thought it'd be cute to make a smaller one. So this is like a two and a half inches tall by four and a quarter. And the head on it was just a wee bit smaller, not a whole lot. And then I used the little blocks, of course, that you get from, uh, these are different than the Jenga because this one's going to be a little shorter. So I'm using the little blocks you get from the Dollar Tree. But now I've got to go out to the garage and get a quarter inch piece of wood and cut me two little heads out. And then I'll bring them back in and start painting them. And this is going to be really simple. I th hopefully it turns out cute. Okay, this is literally just a scrap of wood that I had out here. And I traced the pattern onto the wood. Now I'm going to take it over to my scrub saw and just cut them out. Okay, I'm just painting both of my uh, blocks here the Waverly plaster color. I have them all sanded down now, and I'm going to just make the face, which is a simple lines. This one. Got my finger in the way. Okay. And that's all there is to painting. I mean, other than the black and white and putting that on there. I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to start on these and I'm going to give them a clear coat of the clear DIY wax and then I'll go over them with the Jolie top coat brown. Now that I have my uh, blocks all uh, waxed with the, the clear and then went over it with some brown and also done it with the face, both faces. I'm going to, I'm getting hot, so I'm rolling up my sleeves. I need to take this off. It's chilly of the morning, gets hot of the afternoon. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, putting the little feet on and I'm going to use the hot glue to hold immediately and then some of this fix all adhesive super glue that I get from Dollar Tree if I can get it open. Okay. And I've already laid them on kind of where I want them. Put that on and then some hot glue. And hold it for just a second so the hot glue can bond. Anyways, I'm going to put, oh, I want to put the this on first. And then that. Put it where I want it. And I'll kind of squish it for a minute. Okay, on to the back foot. Okay. 
Now I want to put this on first because that starts drying fast. over we'll put the head on I gotta see which one was the smaller one okay it was this one I think I want it about like about like that I think I've got glue on my fingers okay so Put some of this on. Am I in frame? I hope I haven't been doing that out of frame. Perhaps I can get some on this ear and come down through there with the hot glue. about like that and I got the hot glue on the wood there but I'll worry about that later probably should have come up with it a little more but it's too late now okay now I'm going to do the larger one and then I'll just it's not going to need to be decorated a lot but I'll put a little something on it and by the way I was looking at the one on Pinterest, and hers was done with a box, a large box, and she cut out a large head. I mean, I really can't tell, you know, by the picture, but it was a box. And I just used the two befores and the two by two and a half. Now, I'm gonna move on to this one, and I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, I figured out what I was going to do. I just got the rusty stars, and I am going to use, of course, the fix-all adhesive super glue, and then the hot glue, too. That way, it will stay on. I need to get another hot glue in my hot glue stick and my glue gun. Stick that right there. And then I have a little bow I made out of some jute. I like that side up. Just put a little hot glue on that. And put it under the neck. And that's all I'm going to do to that. And I'll take the small one. I have a smaller star for it. I'll do the same thing for that. Well, with this first. And put a glue stick in. Just put it on his little hip. Take it. And they're done. That was such a simple little project. And someone that likes sheep, I think they would like it. So I have them finished. Now I'll go take a picture of them so you can get a better shot of them. I'm out in the garage again, and I'm going to trace. I have this old rake, and I'm just going to trace the pattern of it off and then I'll use my scroll saw to cut it out. Okay, there's what I have traced and now I'm going to take it over here to my scroll saw and cut it out.
I went into Selowitz Studio and decided to put Welcome on the rake. So I cut that out. I don't remember what font I used. Uh, let's see. I was looking here to see if it had it. Usually the most recent one, it wasn't vintage sign. It wasn't that. Hmm. I don't know the font that I used. Well, I wished I did, but I forgot to put it in there. I usually like to make a sticky note on my, on here. And so I'll know what font I used, but I missed it. Anyways, I've cut it out with my stencil vinyl so that it will fit on my sign. And now I need to paint this probably, um, I'll probably use a plaster color for it and let this dry and then I'll put my stencil on it. Then I'm going to have to figure out how to attach it to the rake. Okay, I have my sign uh, stenciled and everything and I have just went over it with a coat of the clear wax and now I'm giving it a coat of the Jolie top coat brown just so it's no, not so stark white and a little older looking and then from there I'm going to take it and attach it to my uh, rake so when I start doing that I'll come back and show you how I do it forgot my wire what did I do with my wire Well, I got it looking the way I wanted to. It's, it's not quite as bright as it was. And I took this, my rake, and I laid it on here. And I put in pencil little marks where I want to drill a hole because I'm going to attach it with the wire. And then I think... After I do this, I might make a thing or two to come up with to hang on it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where my mark was. I think it was this one. some wire and I won't show you all of this because I'd be monotonous I think I'll hook it up here first and I got too much wire so I'm gonna half that I'm not exactly in the position I would be if I was just doing this off camera. I don't want that scratching anything on the wall, so I'm going to have to find something to cover them with. Well, I do it better with my fingers. That's one of them, and I'll get one here, one here, and I forgot to put my hole there, but I don't really think I'll need it because that's, I really don't. Well, I might to hold it up there. Yeah, I might. Okay, I'm going to keep wiring this on and fiddling with it, and I'll be back. Here it is finished. I just put a raffia bow. Whoa, my finger's in the way. 
with a rusty star and some little rusty stars hanging, dangling down. Just left it kind of simple. And that would look cute um, with even some gardening utensils and things hanging off from it. But that's how I finished it up. All right, guys. Until the next one, we'll see you later.